Hey everybody, welcome. We are live, everybody. We are live here in Ventura, California. Ready to rock and roll with you tonight. I am your disc DJ VJ YouTube A Andy Joe, also known as Andres Jose, and we are kicking some butt. We are having fun, and we're gonna make this a uh, wonderful evening. I'm listening to the doors. That's right. We're listening to the doors, and we are kicking some butt, and uh, we're just going to have a wonderful time. That's the plan. The plan is just to, um, you know, kick butt, make comics, all that kind of stuff. In fact, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to start sending this out to everybody. I'm going to do my little, like, social media blitz, which really is just... Facebook and YouTube. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna, uh, not even YouTube. It's like Facebook and Twitter are my. my that's my blitz. <laughs> that's the extent as, as as we go here today. Uh, damn it to hell. Making comic. I am. I'm gonna even put a hashtag on this. That's how wild we're getting today. Yeah, that's how we do. That's how we're doing it today. So it's about 9.44 here in uh, Pacific Time, Ventura, California, A, and we are going to uh, make comics. And um, I am extremely excited about it. And uh, we are live. And let me just pop out my chat so that I can see you guys chatting it up for me. Because I, I need to see that. I need to know what's going down. Because i got to see what's happening because people here we got super chat we got chat chats dude how's my how's my boy doing how are you doing dude hans i'm even gonna type this up what i'm gonna say what up hans how you doing brother you're my homie i can't count on you i'm listening to the doors okay one of my favorite bands from back in high school okay so uh last week we did uh, I don't remember what we did last week. Well, I did these pages here. I don't, I don't know if you were around. I, I think I did, oh yeah. I think the last video, Friday, we did this little panel here, which I still need to do some of these cars, but I think it's, I think it's okay for now. Uh, and then we started up, we started up this guy here, just a couple little bits. Yeah, Rise on a Storm. Can you hear it? I hope you can't. Can you hear him riders on the storm? I'm listening to it. If I hope you can't, because if you can hear it, then I'm gonna get. They're gonna kick me out on uh, YouTube. They always like bust my chops. No, okay, good. I'm actually listening to Riders on the Storm right now, which is funny. Um, so we're gonna ink this page. We got okay. Hang on. Let's put away the pages we've done. These pages are done. So but go away. Those are done. So we still have, that's done. We got this one. Uh, I got this panel I need to actually like draw out. That one's done. Uh, we got this one to do. We got this one to do. This one would be easy. That one to do, that's it. Okay, so about four. Uh, but before we do this, before we do this, we're gonna warm up. Because I've realized if I don't warm up, I'm just not going to be able to pull this off. I'm just, it's not going to just turn out good. So uh, I just need to like bust my butt with the warm ups. So let's do some warm ups. And since I'm inking, I think what we'll do is we'll um, hang on. Let me fix this. We'll warm up by just inking some of the stuff. These are some gesture drawings I did. I think I did them actually on the channel like not too long ago. So I'm gonna do that. Oh, by the way, I have a bunch of Ebays going on right now. I'm selling a bunch of stuff, including some comics, comic books, some art, all that kind of stuff. So if you're interested, take a gander at that. Uh, the link is in the description and all that jazz. So we are we we're involved in that business. Maybe I'll even put it on a, as a comment. Or you can't really do that, can you? Yeah, you just gotta put it on this chat. Okay. 
Okay, so let's do some inking. I'm really, I don't really care about this. I just want to practice and get my my chops going. So um, we're gonna do both. We're gonna do some nibs. We're gonna do some brushes. And I just kind of want to loosen up a little bit, and then we'll get going. <clears throat> okay, so. Let's see here. We're just cleaning up my brush, I mean my uh, nib, which I usually do. And now, let's just do this. This is going to be a little rough. It takes a while. It takes usually... Half an hour, 45 minutes, honestly, for me to like feel like I'm like in it, you know? This takes a while. I think the doors is gonna help me today because we're gonna we're gonna get this with the doors as help. Okay. Sorry, there's a little bit of glare because of the pencil lead. Let me see if that does that help it? Ooh, yeah, kinda, but then it's dark. So we're just gonna have to Probably just suck it up a little bit. Okay. Just doing some loot. This is clearly loose, right? And this is really what I would, I would love to do the whole book in a more of a looser style. And I think it's just my, um, my insecurities uh, make it difficult for me to do it because I'm like, oh, I got to render it and I got to like really make it look good and everything. But I really think that sometimes the looser stuff, like, again, you guys know one of my heroes, Sienkiewicz's loose stuff is just so damn good. And there's a quality to it. It's a character to it that I really like. So we're gonna try to maybe get a little bit of that at some point. That's why I get a little bit of anxious about inking because I just feel like, ugh, I put so much effort in the pencils and all that stuff. I just like, that's kind of cool. Okay, again, we're just warming up here. I've been listening to so much music lately. I do not, oh no, there's a show. You can use a five mil lead holder. You can use a five mil lead holder on a stick and nib. It's great, try it. Okay, hang on. Are you talking about, um, hang on. I know, we, I know exactly what you're talking about. Give me a second, I got ink on this, but let me, uh, okay, this is, okay, let me see what you're talking about, because I have, Hans, a five mil, five uh, millimeter pencil holder. So let me see. You talk about one of these? Like from Calico? Talk about these guys? You said I could put a nib in this? Are you, are you trying to break my, break my brain? What are you talking about here? I'll try it right now. Uh, let me see here. Are you serious? Can I really do that? Hang on, hang on. Yeah, dude. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. You're, you're... <sighs> and stick a nib in it. Okay, I'm going to try that right now. So you're saying I'm going to take this out. This is a, we're gonna do this right here together. I'm gonna take this out. Look at that beautiful little lead guy. Okay, we'll take that out, put that down. And we're gonna put my nib. You're saying I could put a nib in this mofo. So let's just use this nib because it's, um, this is, oh crap, hang on. Okay, hang on, <laughs> I need to get some pliers. Hang on, now I gotta get my tools. Let me get my tools here. Okay. Okay. I'm excited about this. If, this. if you're not blowing smoke and you're being real here, let me get my tools because I'm, I'm actually really excited about this if I can pull this off. Um, 
I always like to use new tricks and little 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 gadgets and gizmos and stuff. Let me uh let me find my uh, now I gotta find my freaking pliers. There's always something. Okay. Let me see if this works. Okay. Here we go, Hans. We're gonna do this live. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. Hang on. This thing is in here good. This thing is in here too. I never take these damn things out. Come on, mama. Come on, baby. There we go. Whew. That muffle's rusted. Okay. And you're saying, you're saying, I can do this. Hang on. How? Like that? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh my gosh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. And don't get too happy about that. Did that? Did that work? Hang on. Hang on. Before I get too excited, everybody. Let me clean this off. Let me see if this works. And if it works, I'm going to have to buy like five of these things. <laughs> well, I mean, honestly, I mean, this is like a buck fifty. This, these are fine. Okay, nothing wrong with this. This stupid thing was like 60 bucks. I kid you not. These are this was now. This is German. This is Calico. This is expensive, but these things are not cheap. But let me just try it, okay? I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. We're gonna try this here, and if if this is real, if you're not messing with me, I'm be excited. I'm be excited here. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I mean it's. I mean, it seems like it's holding it. I don't see a problem with it. It feels strong enough. It's sturdy enough. I wouldn't want it to like, yeah. It feels weird. I like the weight of it because I like the weight of this thing. But I, oh man, this is a little, little odd. Huh. Where'd you get that idea? Where'd you even, why, where'd you even think of that? Like. Like, how would you even think of, like, doing this? I do like it, though, a lot. Thank you, man. Bro? Gonna buy one. <laughs> yeah. This is great. I bought this, actually, over in a Japanese shop. Um, somehow, the Japanese and the Germans have, like, the lockdown on cool stuff. Whether it be cars, machinery, you know, uh, uh, fountain pens, stuff like that. It's it's either German or Japan. I don't know why, but that's just the way. That's just that's what it is. Um, this is actually pretty cool, huh? Fun. Okay, I I might put my other one now, my other nib too, and kind of see how that goes. But yeah, I like that. Wow. I dig it. Okay, okay. I can appreciate this. Cool, brother. You're a good little, uh, you're a good little partner, man. I appreciate that a lot. Always bring in good tricks from the Sweden land of gnomes or 
whatever. I don't know what land of. Ice trolls. Oh, dip my hand right in the freaking ink. See? So you gotta be careful. That was my bad. Yeah, dude, comics dudes, gotta stick together. I think this is about out. Yeah, this is out. Wow, that's really cool. I, I'm kind of excited about this because I don't use this that much. Um, it's just so big and all, but I, I like the weight of it. But now I can have I have a little toy, so I'm excited about that. That's cool. Right on. So stoked. Want to get another one now? If I win the lottery, <laughs> they're just so expensive. Okay, we're just gonna do a little bit more and then we're gonna get into it. I just wanna still warm up. We had a little.
Oh, there was, oh, I was going to say, there's a show I started watching on um, Amazon. It's Amazon. Um, I don't know if it goes international, but in America, at least, there's a show called The Expanse. And it's based on a bunch of, like, books. It's like a sci-fi, like, um, space space show. But uh, I was, I've only watched about four episodes, but I really dig it. It's kind of fun. I'm kind of enjoying it. Her neck is totally screwy, but that's okay. We're just trying to... But it's called The Expanse. I really liked it. But other than that, I haven't really been watching any shows or anything. I've been... I finally finished that script, so I worked on this, uh, there's a radio play. It's a, a radio, uh, like, dramatized program called The Hidden Frequencies. And I've been, uh, I wrote an episode of it. Uh, you can download it on iTunes and such. I, I wrote one episode, which we produced, and then uh, the next season is out. So I had to write uh, a new episode for the next one, so... I've been doing that the last four days, so I haven't dr drawn anything since, I guess Friday. I think Friday was the last day I drew. I did a little bit yesterday of just sketches and stuff, but. Okay. I'm about to do this little bit right here, then we're going to get into, uh, maybe we'll get into, do a little bit of brush. And then we'll probably start drawing. Uh, let's see here. What are we going to use? Let's use the, uh, let's use the four. We're going to use a Windsor Newton Series 7 Sable. We're going to use a size four, which is the biggest I have of the Series 7s. They start to get expensive. They get, these size fours start to get around 30, 30, 40 bucks, which I guess isn't that much, but I'm cheap, so... So for me, that's a lot. <laughs> okay. We're gonna have to use this little guy. Uh, no, I write, I use uh, Final Draft, so Final Draft is what I use to write my scripts, um, which is kind of like the screenwriter kind of like standard, so I use Final Draft. Um, sometimes if I, so since that program is on one of my computers but not everything I own, if I'm on like my laptop or something like that that doesn't have Final Draft, I'll use just Google, <laughs> I put it in Google Docs. You know, and just try to, and then either reformat it or, uh, just, you know, if I'm writing the script for myself, it doesn't really matter, right? I could put it in Google Docs and that's good enough because I'm going to make it. But if it's for an assignment or, a, you know, someone wants it, then I do it in Final Draft. I just find it's easier and I like it. I, it there's probably better things out there and there's free things out there that probably are better, but um, it's just kind of the industry standard for for scripts and such, so that's what I use. But I don't, I don't necessarily say you have to get it. I know that some people would get really into that stuff, but I don't. I think you can use whatever, man. As long as the format's right, you know, it makes it easy for you. Whatever. You know, that's my that's my take on that one. I could not go old school like I could never just like do like 
pieces of paper or something like that. <laughs> I I actually will write scenes and dialogue on paper, and then I you know then I transcribe it on the computer. But I couldn't just have like, you know, notebooks full of dialogue and stuff like that. It would just, I just, it wouldn't work for me. I I would need to somehow all digitized and put it in a place I can print it out and stuff like that. Yeah, the shortcuts are kind of nice. Oh, you have Final Draft, but you're on paper now? Yeah. I, I find paper... So so if we're talking about writing, I write quicker than I type, right? So if I'm, like, doing a dialogue scene, I'll, like, write it out really quickly. In fact, like, here, I'll show you what I did, like, just, like, yesterday, right? I was just, like, writing out, like little scenes and descriptions and, and stuff like that. I'll write it out like this. And then I'll, and then I'll go into, uh, and then I'll like re retype it. And when I type it into Final Draft or even Google Docs, it's almost like a rewrite, right? So I can then massage the words. I might like wordsmith it a bit more. And so it's just another way to like get another draft of it, you know, the paper draft and then the, then the digital draft, you know. Yeah, I hate spell program uh, spelling stuff. <laughs> but yeah. Uh it was actually a lot of fun just writing for a couple of days. I really enjoyed it. Uh I hope the guy that I did it for likes it. We'll probably have to do a couple of rewrites, but I'm hoping it will be minimal. Um It is fun to kind of do that right. I do. I miss it because I'm spending so much time drawing that I'm not writing as much as I was. So it's um, it's one of those things, right? Where so. Okay. Kind of want to race this real quick and see where that happens.
Yeah, cartooning is fun. It just takes a long time. <laughs> you know that. Just like, you know, if someone were to pay me just to write the stories, I would probably do it in a heartbeat, to be honest. I would do this as like a hobby, and I would, I would like doing this for fun. But, yeah, it's just, um, you know, so many people, you can get so much more done. Okay, let me... Uh, Okay. Uh, where's my eraser? Uh, darn it. Okay. Okay. Let me get my eraser. Uh. Okay. Oh, sorry about that. It's all dry. Just doing this for the hell of it. I just wanted to see it. <laughs> I was kind of curious how that hair turned out. I mean, it makes no, it doesn't really matter, but I want to do this just for the hell of it, because I just want to put a little bit. Okay. Okay, we're done. We're just goofing around. Okay, this is done. This was kind of a fun little little warm up. Now let's do some work, right? Let's move this. Slap this somewhere. Oh. And let's do a freaking comic book. Now, I got I gotta think about this long and hard here, and I can't just start going freaking hot half cocked at this. I gotta make sure I'm doing this right. So um Let me No, I better use a I don't think I'm going to use this at all. Darn it. I have some I have a reference of these hats I got to get. Darn it. I don't have the reference for the hats. And I do have them, but they're on my phone, which I'm using to record. Darn nebbit. Okay, that's okay. So we're gonna have to wait on these hats. We could do everything else. This hat's fine, his hat's fine. Hers though, I had some, I have a hat just like this that I had my wife did. What says, my friend is writing the screenplay with is blown away. It's going great. We're pulsing now and adding more deep stuff in it metaphor symbols. Oh, great. That's awesome, man. That's great. Um, that's, that's super exciting. I'm, I'm stoked for you, dude, that you can like get that going. Making a film is the funnest thing ever in the world, dude. So I'm stoked for you on that. Okay, let me um, figure something out here real quick. I'm gonna have to zoom in. I think I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna move this in close so that I can just bang this out. Uh, one second, let me. Okay, hang on. Okay, let me look this up real quick. I 
Ah, darn it. 67. Okay, let me figure out what should I do here. Let me, how do I want to do this? Oh, great, that's cool. Okay, um, let me go ahead and do this guy. I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use my small grow coil and we're going to do all this like stuff here. Not because I like to, I like to do faces and I like to do the figures, but we're going to do this just to get it out of the way and get it out of my face. I'm going to try to save the best for last type of approach. So I'm going to try to do at least. So let's see if we can pull that off, that concept. my ink. Okay. That's cool that you actually have the sounds like you have the uh, music already. That's really cool. Uh, when I did my film, you know, we didn't put the music until afterwards, so we didn't know what it was going to sound like. Okay. I'm taking off my glasses. Old classic orchestra music. Cool. She has like a score. Cool. That's cool, man. I heard you talking recently, having to complete some with big pros on Indiegogo. It's hard, especially because they all have each other. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I you know, and really, I was talking mostly about like the companies, right? Like IDW, you know, when you have companies using it, you know, and not just comics. I'm talking about everything. Um, that kind of annoys me to all hell. But yeah, Kingdom Comics. Uh, you know, when you get people, 
I really like like Jimmy Palmiotti, for instance, classic example. He's really nice guy. He retweeted my tweets about Kickstarter. He seems to be pretty like open to sharing, you know, the platform of Kickstarter with other people and and all that. And I appreciate him retweeting and stuff. But the man also, he does a Kickstarter every quarter, right? So he's doing a Kickstarter like every three months. And I'm thinking Jimmy Palmiotti, who was like best friends with Joe Casada and some of these guys, can't get a can't get a story sold over at Image or something, and they got to use Kickstarter. You know, if, if you think about people only have so much money a month for comics, and then they say, okay, I'm going to spend 40 bucks a month on Kickstarter a month, which is a lot of money, just that or right there. You know, and if I'm competing against a Jimmy Palmiotti book or whatever else, that's a hard, that's a hard one, right? So that's all that is. I don't blame the people necessarily, but it's just like, you know, it's just, it's just I don't know. Maybe I am blaming the people. Although I like Jimmy Palmiotti. I'm not talking trash about nobody. But it, it is what it is. It, I feel like it's, um, I think it was better when I first started using it like nine years ago, eight years ago. And uh, and I haven't used it in like three, so I'm kind of out of it a little bit. Uh, uh, and and this book here might be a freaking Kickstarter, which would break my heart. But I might have to go that route. So you know, I'll jump right back into it, I guess. But yeah, it's just. I don't know. It's supposed to be for the little guy, you know what I mean? Quote unquote. The guy who like doesn't have a publishing deal, that doesn't have the experience. It's a way for someone who doesn't have all that to be creative. So when I see companies and people who are successful use it like, oh hey, here's another revenue stream. Here's a way we could pre-sell. Cause we're gonna still sell it at the shops, because image is gonna pick it up, but this way we can like sell it twice or show them that it's it's bankable that annoys me to all heck right i don't know what you can do about it oh dude don't get me started don't get me started on that yeah now kingdom you're talking about content okay and that's like that's the number one thing that drives me batty too that's even more so, but that's that's just the freaking buyers, the the people who buy comics. It's like, hey, you love this medium, but you got to notice, like, the people who buy comic books, who love this medium too, quote unquote, they're these freaking nerdy dudes who want to see, you know, girls in panties and stuff. And look, dude, I'm heterosexual. I like to see that stuff too. Don't get me wrong, but. Yeah, dude, sex sells and the hack and slash and the cheap stuff is what wins. And it sucks because if you do something really, really, you know, thoughtful, it might not be picked up. It might be hard to get that. It might be hard to see that, you know. Yeah. Yeah, that's what they want. That's that that's that's what the market is saying sells. You know. So I don't know. It's it's it's, uh, you know, lowest common denominator, man. It's what, what people want to see. All my, all my sketches, when I do sketches at cons and stuff, the ones that always sell are the girl ones. And, you know, that kind of stuff always sells. The other stuff just doesn't sell, you know. You know, and that's just like, it's just sexy time, man. Sexy time wins. It is tough. It's tough. It's, um, you know, people always told me this, and I really kind of brushed them off, but it's true. You got to do this. It's a labor of love. I know it sounds cheesy, but it's like you can't do this because you're hoping to get some book deal or a movie deal, and you can't do this because of any other reason. Then you just you enjoy it, you love it, you passionate about it, you know, and maybe you'll get somewhere, maybe you won't, you know. Uh, you know, I know these guys that go to cons. You know, I go to a lot of conventions, and they're just like these hacky guys, 
and all they do is talk about their deals they got and how their, their cheese ball comic got optioned for something. And it's just like, I'm just not interested in that. And that just like annoys me when I hear about it because it's like, look, you know, I like I like movies and everything, but I'm not sitting here trying to convert every damn thing into some movie and TV show. Um, you know. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah. Well, if you look at my videos, you go to look at my videos and you see the most popular. The most popular are Milo Manera. Milo Manera. The two Milo Manera ones are the most popular, and the second one most popular is heavy metal. So, uh, and then it, and then after that's a blueberry one, and then after that is like Druna or some other kind of cheesecakey European thing. So, so like all the comics that um, let me see all the videos that that are like popular on my channel, the most popular rather, are the girl ones, the ones that are like you know got some kind of a TNA or cheesecake into it. Um, now. You could say, hey, Milo Monero, dude, he's a master. And he is a master. I'm not saying that because uh, he's definitely a comic master. But there's there's an element there of like, hey, you know, it's popular because of that, the subject matter. What do you do? You know, I got to talk about him because he's like one of the best ever. So I got he's got to be, he's in the discussion. But. I don't know. That's what it is. Go your own way. Go your own way. Yeah. I got to tilt this a little bit here. So in this scene, this is like a craft fair. So they're in this park in Little Rock, Arkansas, 1984, and there's all these vendors selling, like, art, paintings, and little craft stuff, and food, and so uh, Andy and his mom are at this craft fair. Going to see all the kind of little bluegrass music going on and all the little uh, stuff that happens in the South. And notice I'm just doing these kind of block-like figures. Hopefully it'll be fine when I color it, you know, because we don't need to put a lot of detail. It's just this is going to get shrunken down. You can't really – can't put too much detail on this, <laughs> you know. So you just got to use little block figures, and hopefully it translates – So, uh, Kingdom Comics, tell me a little bit about what you do. Are you, uh, are you a writer? Are you an artist? Uh, are you a publisher? What's, what's your... Uh, I haven't had the time to kind of like take a look at your, uh, your work or your channel or anything. So I'm kind of like out of it a little bit. So tell me uh, what you're up to, what you're doing. We're gonna have a show and tell. I'm I'm showing you mine. <laughs> you tell me yours. <laughs> That's what we're doing.
we just switched to Jimi Hendrix. So we're doing Jimi Hendrix right now. Which is a good band. A good. I used to listen to him all the time. Again, when I was in high school and college. Right now, I've only done local printed mini comics like Ash Cans, which I do okay. I sell his music in the coffee shop, but I'm trying to launch my first crowdfunding. Yeah, good for you, dude. Good for you, dude. Yeah, man, I did Ash Cans for a long time. Well, let me tell you, despite all my negativity on Kickstarter and Indiegogo and stuff, I do love the platform. Uh, so I owe it a lot to it. So I do love it. I have a video. I think it's like my first video I ever did. I should probably redo it so that people could see it again. But maybe I should do a video of Kickstarters and crowdfunding. That actually might be a good idea. Um, so go check it out, though. I have slides. I made, like, slides about Kickstarters. And, like, I because I was doing these little, like, workshops on it. Um, so... Yeah, if you have questions, though, brother, just, um, or sister, I you could be a sister. I always assume everyone's a man. That's probably not a good thing in our society. But, I, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, if you have questions, just let me know. Email me. Reach out to me. Check out those videos. I'm more than happy to um, share with you what I've learned. And, uh, yeah, I'll even, I'll, I'll talk about it on the channel. I'll promote it, you know. I want you to. You know, be be successful or feel good about it. Yeah, I like that. I like uh, I like into the world biblical stuff. I have a couple of those myself. I will say this: um, I've talked to publishers because I have a I have a couple of like post apocalyptic world type stories, and I'll say some publishers won't. Like, Oni's told me, don't do it. They said, don't do post-apocalyptic. We get so many of those. Do something different. So you'll your mileage will vary when you, like, pitch it to different people, uh, just to let you know on that. But, yeah, I say do what you want. And, like, if you're self-publishing, it doesn't matter what someone says, right? Because you're just going to do it your way. But... The trick to it is getting that audience, finding that audience and building it, you know, and um, Kickstarter is a great way to do that. It's even better if you have an audience before Kickstarter, clearly, right? That's why people like Palmiati or whoever, you know, uh, are so successful because they come with an audience, <laughs> people who like, you know, doing Daredevil or whatever, so... Because of that, they got a big jump uh, jump on people. But um, if you can bring in, you know, all your family and friends and everybody, get all of them to freaking talk about it and buy the book. I find it extremely stressful doing Kickstarters and crowdfunding. I um, I just get really stressed out about it. So I do it. But only because I feel it's a kind of necessity nowadays. I don't. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it for this, because I've done eight. So I think once you get past like five Kickstarters, you either you say to yourself, "This is my life," or <laughs> you try to, you know, not do this forever. I just. My wife just says like I'm a wreck during the Kickstarters. Just like I'm always stressed out about like. It's not making the goals. You can make the goal, but it's, it's how far how far can you go type of situation. It's never enough. Uh, it's about the man who starts the second American Revolution War, sort of uh, George Washington. But it will continue to watch your channel and take advice. Uh, and back your books. Thanks, man. Thanks, dude. I, uh, I appreciate you that. You know, my you might want to check out my Patreon because I've got a lot of stuff in there about making comics. 
and uh, you can see like scripts and stuff that I've written. If you if any you know, of that's kind of helpful, but yeah, um, again, happy to help. And uh, I mean, the hard part is making it in a way. I don't know. I guess maybe the hard part actually is selling it too. They're both hard. <laughs> they're both they're both hard. Jimi Hendrix was in Sweden and plays with Hanson and Carlson. He had a bus with them. Oh really? Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know yeah. I know um I did, I know he he went to London and did really well there, but I didn't know he played also in um you know, how far he went when he went to Europe. I'm definitely a fan of his stuff. I mean, who isn't? He's definitely the guy. One of the guys. I'm just to think uh Yeah, dude. Oh, a hundred percent, Kingdom. I'm gonna just gonna keep calling you Kingdom, but uh <laughs> uh Mr Mr. Comics. Um yeah, dude, when I was in the eighties, we didn't have none of this. I mean, I'm doing this now. Because I have a fun time with it. But yeah, back in the day, you didn't get none of this. You just like had to figure it out. We had Wizard Magazine, but you know, that was such a hype machine. That didn't really tell us much about how freaking doing stuff. You know, I met an artist once at a comic shop where I used to live in Fresno. And he was telling me, he was like an inker. And he did, I guess he did some X-Men or worked with Jim Lee. And he was saying how Jim Lee was making like, you know, hundred and something thousand dollars a year or no, a ish I don't even remember. I can't remember now. But it was like an insane amount of money at the time. And it was just like you just don't know what's real or not back then. So uh no, I'm stoked that uh we have this way to like kind of share stuff. There's a couple channels I like to see and watch people draw, learn from. Uh, I've improved leaps and bounds just in 10 years, last 10 years watching our yourself do your thing. Oh, thanks. Yeah, no, I agree, Harley. I've watched a bunch. Uh, there's a guy, there's, um, what is it, the Drinking, Drink and Draw Club? I, I listen to those guys a little bit sometimes. Uh, yeah, there's a number of, Dudes, I think, are kind of fun to kind of like, you know. I don't think you're going to have a shortage. <laughs> Not a shortage of, like, uh, outlets. It's just really who do you want to listen to and who do you has, – has good info or, or, or entertaining or whatever you want out of it. Okay, hopefully this will work. Um, this is not the best there. We might have
We're running out of juice. My camera's about to die. Darn it. I feel like we don't get very far. Okay, let me uh, let me do something else real quick just to have some fun. Maybe I'll do him real quick and then we might have to call it, unfortunately. Sorry, guys. I thought I charged my phone up, but I just got the warning light. I feel like I've improved a lot over the last year just because I'm freaking doing a lot of it. I'm just like doing a lot of drawing. And the channel helps me because it kind of keeps me like, keeps me going a little bit. I feel like the pressure, but it's kind of a good pressure. See that hand is messed up. I got to fix that hand. Um, so I need to redraw that hand because that hand is not quite right. Does that work? Let me see here. I feel like that. I think the. That might be okay. I'll have to play with that a little bit. I'm not, I'm not super happy with that. I might just wait on that for a sec. Let me, uh, I'm going to switch. It's better now? Yeah, I think so. There's some of those fingers look a little goofy, but even still, this feels just a little off. Okay, I better stop messing with that. <laughs> Sometimes it's better to uh, just let it sit for a little bit for my brain to catch it.
It's also a lot easier to see other people's mistakes than your own. <laughs> like if you're just showing me a drawing of someone else did, I'm like, oh yeah, that's a problem right there. But when you're working on it, it's sometimes you just get you just get really close to the to the work, you know. You guys know that because you make comics. Okay, that's good. This one I like a lot better just because it's a little stiffer. It's a little bigger. It's just you can't do some of the more fine stuff. But this is definitely my, my favorite of the little pins I've got. The brush, the little uh, nibs. Oh, man, my battery's just about out. Darn it. I wanted to go two hours, but that wasn't going to happen on this. Might have to plug it in here in a second. Organ music with drums. What are you talking about, Hans? What's organ music with drums? Sometimes I don't pick up what you're putting down. I want to, though. Okay, I think, oh, his neck is a little too long too. Darn it, we'll have to, we'll have to fix that in post. Read text above. Oh, hang on. I've been previously imbalanced. Uh, it's better not. Labor text above, or give me the drums. Oh, the Hanson, the Hanson and Carlson is Oregon music with drums. Is that what you mean? So if anyone wants a drawing done, let me know. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Okay. Okay. Oh, cool. Wolverine. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of Logan. I don't call him James Hewlett, Howlett, whatever that's, but I don't, I don't believe in that. So I kind of like, I live in my world, which says he's Logan. Okay. I don't go for all that other weird stuff, but uh, I'm becoming an old man where I just like refuse to accept reality and I just like live in my world of Logan, but <laughs> anyway, okay, I'm going to call it, I'm going to call this video, um, and I'll probably do some more actually offline a little bit, but thanks for watching, I appreciate you guys for being a part of the, uh, the experience, and I hope you guys have a great night, and check out, if you want some crazy stuff, go check out eBay, <laughs> thanks man, appreciate it, bye guys.